back on it. Possibly the most perfect dress. Eleanor Thompson Mug. I'm heading out now. I'm very excited. This is not like normal because I think I've got. Oh, look, this is what I'm about to do. And a bit chaotic. <laughs> Price. <laughs> very slowly getting to my goal. Do not want her to ever leave. It's Guinness cake. Actually, there's so much more in there. Good morning. It's Monday and I am back on it. Yes, I hope you're impressed with me. I am impressed with myself. So today I'm going to be doing a 30 minute low impact ride and it is going to be low because I also have lots of admin to do on my phone whilst doing it. So yeah, I'm really not doing this properly, am I? But I am attempting to get back into doing more exercise. So I'm impressed with myself. I'm out here, it's early, it's a Monday morning, it's freezing. I have packed away all my summer clothes. Um, so I have got some layers on, uh, but I am ready to go for it. So I will let you know how it goes. Uh, I've got a really busy week, so stay tuned. Lots of exciting things happening. I want to reel them off and tell you what they all are, and I can't remember any. So you'll have to bear with me until I wake up a bit more. Anyway, I better go and do this lovely ride. Good morning. I, I'm just trying to curl my hair. Look at this. I can never get these to sit right. I just feel like a right wally. I don't know whether they actually do anything. I've got on this amazing dress. I've just tried it on. It's the one from Crew Clothing that I showed you last week on the video. And I love it. I love the cut. It's just really nice. It's very pretty. Let me um, stick my phone on the tripod and then I can show you a bit more detail. I feel like a right plonker with these ends. So I'm just gonna take them out. Oh, I think, oh my God. Oh, oh, I've got another clip on the back of my head. I'm thinking it felt kind of heavy. Right. Oh, I think I'm going to have to go back over that. Anyway, let me show you this dress. I am doing a photo shoot this morning. I'm doing a coronation shoot. And I think this is possibly the most perfect dress for it. So let me stand back here and then you can hopefully see. Let me move this. Can you see that? So if I go right back here. You can kind of get the idea of the dress. I absolutely love that. So this is crew clothing. It's new in it at the moment. It's actually their Henry Regatta range. Um, it's got a really nice cut under the bust here. And then these sleeves that's just covered the top of your arms. Um, so it's just really pretty. It's a very nice um, dress. It's very nice, good cut, isn't it? So I'm going to get some bunting out, get the Prosecco out. Yes, it is Monday morning, I'm not gonna drink it. And I am going to um, set up some coronation themed uh, photo shoot props. That's what I'm looking for. And take some photos. I'm very excited. I need to go and sort out this hair, don't I? <laughs> so dodgy, I don't know what to do. Me and my hair fall out quite a lot. I think I'm gonna get my GHDs on them. Yeah, Uber across the fields again past me. Good afternoon. I am um, doing this very quickly because my children are about to arrive. I've just been taking photos of rooms because this morning I obviously tied it up for our photo shoot. And so I was like, I've got to make the most of this. My house is actually tidy for once. because Normally it's tip. Um, so I tidied up pretty much most of the spaces. And then I've just gone and photographed in here in the lounge, in the kitchen. And I've gone downstairs. It's their first day back, so I'm hoping that they all had a good day. Um, I've come on to show you my mug. So this is my lovely Eleanor Thompson mug. 
can see it's beautifully illustrated. I used some of her products um, in my photo shoot this morning. So that was lovely, really beautiful, beautiful illustrations. Oh, oh this is them, they're back. So um, I'm tomorrow I'm off to Running Park Spa. Good morning, I've been trying to play around with the light in here and trying to get it better. It's just not great light. Let me go and head more, more towards the window. Just jump over. Oh, that's slightly better, isn't it? I, um, I'm heading out now. I'm very excited. I'm off to my spa trip for really naughty doing this. This is not like normal. Although I have to put a little um, disclosure or something into this because I think I've got four spa trips booked this month, which is really wrong. A lot of them are for work. In fact, every one part from this one is for work. This one is for, with a friend. So the other ones are for work. Um, so I feel like I can justify it. They've just all come around at the same time. That's what I'm putting it down to. Anyway, I'll be able to tell you all about spas by the end of uh, May. When May comes up, I'll be able to tell you all about which ones are good and which ones not to go to. I feel like a blog post is definitely coming on. Anyway, I wanted to show you my shoes. <laughs> so today I've got on my Holland Cooper shirt. Um, the reason why I love the shirt is because you don't have to iron it. It's always a bonus. I hate ironing. I don't mind the steamer, but ironing, no. Um, so I've got this shirt on. I love the, all the detail that they have on their pieces. That, that's kind of like key. So it's basically a striped shirt, really nice fabric that you don't need to iron, but then it's got all this lovely detail, like the buttons are really pretty, uh, and the buttons on here, it's got a really lovely collar. I just really, really love the quality. The rouging on here is beautiful. So it's big, big, long sleeves. I love it. So I've got that on, I've got my skinny jeans. Um, can you see those? Those are the Ivy m and ones, I love them. Uh, I'm going to put on my Hobbs little ballet shoes, which again, they're so comfy. They're just really, really nice to wear. Um, so they're in the navy. They've got them in uh, different colorways on the website too. So we're putting those on and then I have my Gile. Let me put this on. So I'm literally just gonna wear this because I'm gonna be walking into the spa. So I'm not actually gonna take a coat. I'm not going to take a coat, I'm just going to be taking this, my bag, and I'm going to take a little basket, I think, because I want to take my camera um, so I can do some photos and things like that. Although I don't know how I can take many photos in the spa. I'm hoping upstairs. If you haven't been to Running Park, it's got a really lovely upstairs area, which today, wait a minute, look at the blue sky. I'm in luck. It's an absolutely stunning day. So I hope we can sit out there. It will be a bit cold, but maybe after like the sauna, we could go and chill out out there. So I will of course take you with me. Uh, I'm late as usual, so I better get going. And I will try and record as much as I can because I think it is really good for people to know which spas to go to. At the end of, sorry, in a few weeks time, I'm apparently going to the best spa in the UK like comment below if you know where it is and I feel like I'm going to be a spa expert by the end because I'll be able to tell you if it really is the best spa so I think that's in about two weeks time you'll have to watch I'm very excited I've got no earrings I must go and put my earrings in and I must leave so I will see you later bye bye so I'm just about to walk into the spa but I just wanted to show you this is what it looked like from the outside um, this is the part you go in, the hotel is around the other side. I just wanted to show you before I went in. random it must have like a roof that comes over the top I can feel the breeze these look like little heaters so I'm out up on the top deck 
and it's quite busy not as busy as a sort of saturday when it's really busy oh they've got magazines i haven't seen magazines in a spa for ages it's good isn't it there are quite a few people outside because it is such nice weather i've just been sat outside and it was glorious really really hot i need some suntan lotion though so i've come in but i'll show you the sauna they've got one out here and they've got one inside too they've got like a infinity pool but it's quite busy so i probably can't really do much filming there but over there there's like a little hot tub which is really cute we haven't been out there yet my friend's just gone for her treatment she's having like a full massage polish we're not really sure what that is so i will fill you in on what that is later i'll just show you the sauna though treatment wow that was amazing I just started snoring though so I'm now just chilling in here how cool is this So I've just got back from the most amazing day. When, weren't we lucky with the weather? Like, oh my gosh, it was amazing. Anyway, um, I've been chilling out, organizing myself because I've been away from my computer all day. So I've got a million emails that I've just replied to. But this arrived in the post. Um, so I actually bought it for a friend of mine for her birthday. However, I'm feeling like I do need a copy myself. So, if you don't know this lady, you should know her if you're on Instagram. She's called Ash Ashley Jane. Um, she's from the Suffolk Nest, and you can find her on Instagram. She has a really beautiful account. Anyway, this is her book, um, which went on order a while ago now, and I remember thinking, I must get this, must get this. Oh, look, this is what I'm about to do. So... I'm going to put these flowers into some sort of vase like this. Actually, it was a bowl. I'll show you the bowl in a minute. And I hope they'll look just like that. Let's hope so not. Uh, anyway, it's got some amazing ideas. It has to do wreaths. Oh, look at that. How stunning is that? I think I might have to steal this book. We'll just get her another copy. Uh, because it is so nice so um i'm i'm going to just quickly do these flowers now because i've got a photo shoot tomorrow morning quite early um and i need to have them in the bars ready and they've been sat like this for two days so i need to sort them out so oh look at that i love that oh, it's so beautiful anyway so this is actually um, an Ashley Jane bowl. Excuse the rust, basically I had, I actually had this in, but it's obviously all rusted with the water, it's probably not the best thing to use. 
as my kind of structure. So that went into the bowl like so. This is an old, old leaf there, let's take off the old leaf. Um, and then I used the floristry tape to kind of tape it in. And I did put one of these little frogs at the bottom, they're quite weighted. And then I have my structure coming out. So this is, I mean, you can just use a white bowl, but this is a bowl that I actually got off her website. And I have, I don't know where it's gone now. I think I put it in my little flower cupboard, like a trough thing that I've also bought, which is really good because I can put it on here and have it as a big display. But I thought for tomorrow, I'll just use the bowl. And so I'm actually gonna make the whole arrangement now. And then the plan is that I then pretend I take some of the pieces out tomorrow when I'm doing the veggie shit and put them in. Um, so that is the plan. I'm not sure how this is going to work, but anyway. Did I show you this? I'm not sure if I showed you this. I've just been sent a load of this. If you don't know this brand, you can buy them in all like supermarkets. But they have the most beautiful bottles. Um, so I've got this one and I've got a blue one. Let me show you. Down here was the blue. Oh, I just full of pink. Where is it? Here. Here we are. So this is the blue bottle here. So I think one is more drier than the other. I don't actually know. Um, it just tastes good. Let me have a look. Oh, obviously one's more pink. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I'm obviously too relaxed. One's pink and one's a normal carver. So they're carver. Did I say they were Prosecco earlier? Who knows what I said. Anyway, they're really nice. Um, so I've worked with this brand quite a few times over on Instagram, but I'm doing a giveaway on my actual Instagram feed on the Coronation to win six bottles of this. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you that whilst I was there. Right, I'm gonna do the flowers now. Wish me luck. Once they've had a really good drink, then these beautiful ranunculus would not be as droopy. Um, and hopefully by tomorrow it will just be and up and out. But yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I think it looks really nice. Obviously I'm going to clear the work surface and have it all tidy in here. But this is ready to go tomorrow. And now I need to just go and sort out my table over there for the coronation themed tablescape. I'm not really sure how to do this. I've got a load of scones arriving in the morning that I'm going to pretend kind of like I baked. I don't know if that'll work. Let's see. So the food has just arrived as I'm about to do a video, um, a video, a photo shoot again. I've just been setting up this lovely display. So I'm going to put some scones out here and do a coronation themed tablescape that's the plan i've got the bunting up oh i need to light the fire um and then obviously i've got my flowers over here i will come back later and let you know how it goes <laughs> so annoying we are just out for a walk and it is I, yes they do actually care and it's an absolutely stunning evening yeah we're out for a walk and it's really really lovely evening it's supposed to be a really grey day today in yorkshire and yet the sun has been out it was quite hard to take my photos earlier on because it was so bright but i'm not complaining because this is a <laughs> stop i'm not complaining because it's such a lovely evening with blue sky Good morning. I've just finished running a playgroup and now I'm off to a kind of spring artisan, I want to say, fair. It's kind of local to me in York and I went to it 
I think probably before Christmas now, I can't remember when, and it was really good. It had some really good brands and designers and products. So I'm off to meet a few friends and we're going to have a coffee and have a look around and see what's there. So we'll do some videos and I can show you inside. And then I think I need to do a catch up later on because I feel like I'm really behind on telling you what has been going on this week. It's been a bit chaotic. <laughs> So this is the kind of garden space, so you can actually hire this place out, um, but how stunning is this? So it's called Sasha in the Garden, you can find it on Instagram, um, and look at that, that space over there, that looks amazing, it's like an outdoor kitchen, and that greenhouse is amazing, wow, look at this. So that's the kind of converted barns over there, and that's where the fair is, and that part there. It looks amazing. I've just got back um, that was really successful some really lovely companies and brands and products it was really nice I find that there's lots of things that happen like this like those sort of fairs down south but there isn't that much up here so it was really lovely a lot of the storeholders come up from all different places to come to there so there's another one in September so I'll try and remember to advertise it beforehand in case anyone wants to go um, they have got one on Bank Holiday Monday, like a garden sale, so I might try and pop in and see that. Um, I'm back now, I've had a really hectic few days. So yesterday I had a photo shoot where I was doing a Jubilee photo shoot, a bit like I did the other day. Um, and so we did some photos outside, inside, and I set up the bunting all across here. So that was really nice and something a bit different. I have been sent a few parcels. Um, so a few Hobbs pieces which I would like to go through and show you so you can get an idea of what is in at the moment in the store and obviously online um, and there were a few other things I was going to say and I've forgotten oh I picked up some nice things in the garden sale let me show you those so we still got our little bunting out here which is really pretty on here um, so I picked up this little dog so Rafferty is absolutely obsessed with sausage dogs like he sleeps with about three of them the jelly cat ones so um, I picked up this I'm gonna put it there and see if he notices it but it's so cute isn't it I'm really really pleased with that um, and then so I think that was 15 pounds um, and then I picked up this which was six which is really sweet can you see that um, try and get that on focus for you and then I also got a little hedgehog let me take you around here so you can see there we go I just stuck it in there so I don't really have many things for the garden um, what I do have is these two birds which 
this one uh, this one was in my granddad's garden this kind of pigeon one and then this is a kiwi bear when i went to new zealand i lived there for quite a few months i think about four or five months and i picked up that and brought it back from my granddad at the time and then when he passed away they all his stuff people all the family was sort of looking at and sharing out and i was like i really want my bird back so i got my bird back so i've only got a few things for the garden like that but um i thought i'd add to it with my little hedgehog and my weeds um and then over here I've obviously got these. I love these big um, pots. I actually got them on Amazon. They came as a pair. So this has got our olive tree in it. And I've got lights in the olive tree, which is really nice. And we have fairy lights that run all the way around the garden. So it's really pretty in the evening. And this is a real sun spot to sit in. So I sit here and have my coffee in the morning, obviously when it's nicer weather, but it's a really lovely place to sit. So let's see who notices the new sausage dog in the garden. It's really cute, isn't it? But the point of this was, this company's called Flora, Flora and Co. I'll try and put a link below. Um, they're kind of Harrogate based and they she does have a space where she sells, but she's obviously online. But I thought how reasonable, because they did have, um, they had really lovely things which were not expensive. And I remember going to Chelsea Flower Show last year and looking at the prices of these things all made in metal and they were like triple the price. So I thought she was a really good um, lady to buy off. So if you're looking for anything like this for your garden, then have a look at her website. I'm now going to go and do some work and then I promise I will show you the Hobbs things later on, but I need to catch up. I've had a busy morning, um, so I need to go and get some work done. So also at the fair was my lovely friend Hannah. She has a company called Pop and Flow and I've bought lots of things in the past from her and I've worked with her a lot. She's a really lovely lady. She has a great selection of products on her website, one of which is these. So these are earrings so you can either wear the earrings just like this little hoop type things or you can add on charms to them so she sells a range of different charms they also come in silver as well and i just think there is something a little bit different they're really nice as presents and they don't cost a fortune um so i think it's a really lovely brand and product so go and check out hannah's website i will put a link below um so you can find it so here are some things that have arrived from Hobbs. Um, I cannot believe they've sent me this dress, which I was eyeing up. Do you remember when I was in store? I think it was two weeks ago now. It wasn't this weekend just gone. So last weekend I was in store doing an event with Hobbs and they've sent me this. It's from the limited collection. I absolutely love it. I saw a lady try it on and it looks absolutely stunning um it's got a really nice band that runs just under the bust which is great for people my shape and then it goes out it's got lots more fabric down here the buttons are so pretty it's just a really nice summer dress so imagine that in summer at a garden party with like wedges i think it looked really really lovely so i'm really pleased that they sent me this piece they've also sent me another bright outfit which i'm quite excited about so this is one of their new jackets that's just come in it's a linen jacket it's not got a collar so it's slightly unusual but it's got a lovely v-neck line down the front with one button and then I have the shorts to go with it. I'll just let me look up what it's called for you. So it's the Nyla jacket. Okay, so you can find that on the website. It's pretty new in. These are the shorts to go with it. Um, I need to uh, steam these just so you can see that looks already steamed, but this, this is not steamed. So these are the shorts that go with it. You could just wear the shorts on their own or you could wear them with the jacket, which is quite nice. It's a really nice cohort to have for summer. Um, I also think the shorts are really nice length. They are not too short. I keep buying shorts at the moment and they're really short and I'm thinking I'm too old for this now. So these are a size 14. They do look quite big. Um, so I'm not sure how they're going to be when they're actually on, but I think they're just wider with the fabric here. 
but I love the um, seam detail kind of running down the front. I think they'll just be a really nice pair of shorts to have. So even in the summer, I might just wear these just with a t-shirt, but they're really nice. I love linen for summer, so I'm really pleased with those. I also got a t-shirt that I'll probably put underneath it and I'll show you this probably now next week. I've got loads of photos to do over the weekend, but they're mainly of the children. So we're gonna to head to the Blue Bellwoods hopefully and do some photos there. The other things that arrived are this beautiful bag. So this is new on the Hobbs website at the moment. It comes in different colours, but this is kind of like the browny kind of beige colour. So you can see there. I love this. Their bags are absolutely stunning. I've had quite a few of their bags um, and I can really rate them. They come with little um, dust bags as well to put them inside. This one's actually got a strap. It's got several compartments. This is just so nice. So you can see inside. I absolutely love it. They're just really lovely quality. And same with their jewellery, actually. I was just talking to um, a lady this morning about the jewellery in Hobbs. I really rate it. I think it's really nice quality. And I and it's a reasonable price point as well for their jewellery. I really, really think it's good. Um, the other thing that arrived, let me take you back over here, is these shoes. So they're like slidery type shoes, but they've got a tiny bit of a wedge, which I think would be good for me because I'm short. Um, so I do like a heel, but... I can't wear heels all the time because, again, I'm just too old for heels. So I thought these were really nice. I love the kind of logo running across the front. It just makes it look really smart and just a really nice pair. So you can imagine that in the summer, you could wear that with a summer dress or even with this cord here. I think that would just look really nice. So I'm really pleased with these. So thank you, massive thank you to the Hobbs team. They are such a lovely team to work for they're all so nice I really really enjoy working with them so when I went to Hobbs two weeks ago I had just the most amazing time also in store like the store team are just great in both Harrogate and York um, so I really enjoyed the whole experience of working in a shop it was quite interesting I haven't done that since I was at uni so it was quite fun finding people's outfits and styling them up and then going to the stock room to get stuff I was like oh I could do this I love it um anyway so those are a few new things that are in they're obviously very bright but I feel like summer is coming hopefully I really hope so <laughs> it's freezing today so please, please make it as much of your evening as, as possible. We've got about 20 outfits this evening. Take it right down. So if you just relax there. And I'm going to take an angled brush into that cheekbone. Now because the skin hasn't been set, this is the perfect time to do it. We tend to say use all your liquid and cream products before any of your powder products. Like little short sweet motions with the lip liner. A big thank you to the Fennec team as well for having us here. We're so lucky to have such a beautiful store in York. For those of you who don't know me, um, I'm a personal stylist and I am so passionate about helping people to feel confident about themselves and about what they wear. So there's a range of services that I offer that really can help you to like pinpoint what that your style is and what direction you want to go, which can lead to you know, uh, better choices, better value for money when you're shopping. We're here tonight to kickstart the um, the start of York Fashion Week, which is really exciting. Tonight is all about celebrating summer occasion dressing. And then so your own earrings, which I absolutely love, and I think they look amazing with the yellow. So super sunny, but also really, really comfortable. You are, you know, a little bit tummy conscious dresses like I've got on, or like this one, that come from underneath the bust are super flattering. So this style here, I think, looks great on Sarah. And we've teamed it with some All Saints shorts, which denim shorts at the moment they're, they're a little bit looser than the kind of styles that we've had for a while so have a look at your shorts and yeah. 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 this is the kind of style of dress that i'd recommend if you are a bit conscious around the middle it ties just under the bust and then it's got detailing that's going to kind of disguise here but the wrap style as well if you've got a waist that you want to accentuate mm -hmm. is really great because it's creating that hourglass shape please check out those pieces they are so Stunning, and they're completely exclusive to her. Um, she makes everything by hand. Vivian Sharer, which is, she's another prolific milliner. She makes hats for royals as well as um, celebrities, all hand dyed and everything. And you'll see when you go over there, there are pieces that 
um, are literally are a wonderful piece of creation. Tracy um, Halil, who is a London-based milliner, known for using vintage flowers and bales, and she just creates these wonderful pieces and it's just a bit of fun on your head. Justine Bradley Hill, who is a Yorkshire-based milliner, exclusively into Fenwick. They won't be in any of our other stores. It's great to celebrate Yorkshire because one thing I've learned about Yorkshire is that you're all proud Yorkshire people. <laughs> Quite a few of her pieces are going to be in the coronation on quite um, Zara Tindall and um, who is the other one? She said Eugenie. So they should all be featuring within that. Um, we really want to raise the profile of millery and showcase the talent that we have. A great way of elevating your outfit it is something that people are quite afraid of. Oh, it's top. Yeah. And this amazing uh, fascinating cat here, yeah. which I just think is absolutely gorgeous. That colour on her looks sensational. When you're wearing a wide leg trouser, a point just looks incredible because it extends the leg and makes it look taller. <laughs> I like this. This is that's amazing. Look at the price. <laughs> Whoa, I better not touch it. Oh, can you see that? Oh, it's feathers, that's why. That is wow. I am blind, let me on. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. I absolutely love that. Wow. They have the most amazing collection. Look at that. Hello and welcome to another day. <laughs> I don't know what's going on this morning. I have been trying to do work this morning, so I'm only getting out here late. I don't even know what time it is, but I need to get this done because I've got a load of people coming for lunch. But I'm really pleased with myself. I've lost two pounds this week, so I'm slowly, very slowly getting to my goal. And I really think it's the fasting that's helping. I'm reading a really good book on audiobooks at the moment about about fasting. I'm not reading, I'm not obviously listening to it. And it's really interesting. Um, so I, I don't know whether it's that that's working or whether it's just the fact that I'm focused because I hate diets. I hate being on a diet. Um, but this is more like a way of life. My sister's now been fasting for about two years and she's like maintaining now. Um, but it's just like a way of life. And then at the weekend, she obviously enjoys herself, which is kind of what I do too. So I'm looking forward to tonight when I can enjoy myself. Um, but I have got people for lunch, so I'm going to enjoy myself too for lunch. Uh, life's too short, I feel, to be always on a diet. So you'll be pretty impressed with me. Anyway, I'm going to do this 15 minute low impact ride with Hannah. And then I'm going to do some weights um, with whoever comes up as suggested. Slowly I'm getting into this, but it's quite hard, guys. If you don't like cycling or exercise, then it's a hard thing to do, this peloton. So Melissa has really kindly laid the table for me. I really don't know what I'm going to do without her, and I don't want her to ever leave. Can you hear that? She's hiding. She's hiding over there, she's making the salads. Literally do not want her to ever leave. I'm just going to make her stay. Um, so we've laid up the table. We've got how many? Six people, we think? We don't actually know because I can't remember who I invited. Um, there might be more, actually, if there is. I think I'll have to go and find another chair. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, so my ranculars are looking really sad, aren't they? <laughs> I might have to move them off the table. I'll put them on the tray when we eat. Um, so, oh, she's getting active with the mayonnaise. So we've lit the fire to make it a bit cosy. Um, and we, I've got random bunting everywhere from photo shoots. I need to move that. 
Um, and then we've got a um, different array of salads and things for us to pick from. I just didn't really know what to make. Um, it's not really soup weather. It's not really salad weather yet, but we're making salad. So we've got a load of like different things that people can put on their plate. We've got some lovely breads. We've got cheese. I'm gonna open the Prosecco. That's what I need, Prosecco and glasses so that people can have some of that. And then dessert wise, I've got two ladies that are bringing in dessert. One of them burnt though, so we're a bit short on dessert. We might have to open up the fridge and use our imagination. Um, but hopefully it will be a really lovely afternoon or lunchtime and then going into afternoon. We've got people arriving at different times as well, which is nice. Um, so people will be coming and going and we'll be doing coffee and tea. Oh, we forgot to get tea bags. Might have to just hope no one wants tea. We've only got a few left. Or give them decaf and hope they don't notice. Do you think people notice that? In here, um, we've I've just quickly run around and puffed up the cushions and tidied up. Don't even begin to look in here. Oh my gosh. Literally, wait, look, 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 look. Oh my gosh. This is all stuff from a photo shoot that I'm planning. I have to sort this out. Oh my God, I can't even show you. So I'm gonna shut the door here and just show them this. Oh, apart from down here, this is all vintage stuff that I'm selling. I think I sold about 20 parcels yesterday. Um, so we've got a load more to go today. So I'm just getting that ready. Um, and then, um, oh, I need to get a, a picture up on the TV, don't I? This morning I did a reel all about my shelfies, which are here. And I was placing stuff on like this. This is really lovely. This is from the Cotswolds. Um, what else have I got that I could possibly show you on here? These, these are Primark. That little thing up there is Primark. I thought they were pretty good. Um, then I've got H&M Home, which I love. This was my granny's. And so I just kept that. That was my granny's. I do, I've got a load of stuff in the other room. You will not want to see what I've got so much stuff my husband says i am a hoarder i don't think i am oh someone's arriving i need to go oh gosh i'm not ready i'm not ready so we had the most amazing afternoon we've had lots of prosecco and this this is this looks like a mess now but honestly it's amazing it's guinness cake a friend of mine made it um and she brought it with us for lunch what brought it with her and oh my gosh it's amazing it tastes like really moist delicious chocolate cake it's so good so we all had a bit of that we've got some left over and then i've got some cheese and meats left over so i think we will probably either snack on this tomorrow or we will keep it for tonight i don't know i'm not sure what we're going to do tonight uh we are out for dinner tomorrow night though i'm very excited let me turn the camera around and i'll tell you what we're up to so that was rather lovely the lunch um, anyway, I need to tidy it all away, but before I do, I was going to tell you what I was up to last night. So last night I went to an event at Fenix in York. Um, my friend Charlotte, Charlotte, I keep got Charlotte on my brain because I keep thinking of Charlotte Tilbury at my other event, uh, Laura Fawcett, she is a personal stylist in York and she was hosting an event there. So first of all, we had a talk from Mac, which was amazing. I love Mac and I haven't used their products for ages, but I have some old products that I'm gonna dig out actually and start using again. I really love their products and they had some new things. They were talking about their new products that have just come out and they did two ladies' faces. And what was really nice is where they had a, an, a maturer lady and they had a younger lady. And so we could see the difference on both their skins and how um, the makeup looked on them. It was really interesting. I love all that sort of thing. So. We had that first and then we had a talk from Laura and she talked about different events that people would go to in the summer. So there we did, you know, a garden party, going to the pub, um, out for a picnic, all these sorts of things. And she had different dresses or outfits to go with it, with all the clothes that were from um, Phoenix in York. Now, um, like Phoenix is kind of hidden in York. It's kind of down in towards that kind of Coppergate area and you kind of don't really know it's there and you don't, I certainly didn't realise how big it was. It's a really big store with loads of lovely brands inside. So afterwards we went round and had a look at different shops 
uh, in there and I saw lots of lovely things in LK Bennett and I have just recently ordered a beautiful cardigan which hopefully will come next week so I'm going to show you that and I've also got my obviously my shirt with the pearls down the front which I love so they've got some really lovely dresses in there for summer they've also got a nice phase eight department in there and they've got a lovely swimwear section if you're looking for swimwear then I really recommend there and underwear actually and they had lots of things from All Saints which I always think of All Saints as being a place to buy leather jackets and actually there's so much more in there so that's worth having a look at one of the things that i really loved last night was they did a talk a little bit at the end about um, the hats that they've got on display in fenix uh, so they've got different milliners who have come to display their work so you would have seen images of me showing you around the different hats and fascinators and things like that and um it was really interesting to hear like where each of them were from and then to actually go and see the work in real life like on those kind of black things i don't know how you say it stands they were all on there on display so they're there for a few weeks now so if you want to go and see it then i totally recommend it and then you can also book in take your outfit and then they can help you match your hat or your fascinator to that outfit so i thought that was a really good um thing that they offer or service they offer I mean um so I loved that tomorrow though should I tell you all about that so tomorrow we've got busy day of activities kids parties etc but we also have um we're also going out for dinner so we're going to a place called the vices it's in York and if you remember a few weeks ago I went to a York fashion week event and it was actually there at the vices um it is like a, I want to say in a kind of residential area so it's off the main road in york and not in the center of town at all um you'll have to look it up but inside they've got a restaurant and they've got i think three bedrooms upstairs but we're going to the restaurant and we've got a table for two in the wine cellar bit so i'm going to be taking this camera with me to show you what we eat as you know i'm a massive food fan and i love going to lovely nice restaurants so I will show you um, what we get up to and what we're eating and uh, what the whole experience is like. It's quite difficult to get a table there and I'm sure it's just going to go like up and up and up that restaurant because I've just heard so many good things. So I'm really pleased that we've managed to get a table so I'm going to take you with me on that. Um, it's Bank Holiday Monday and actually me and my husband are gonna have a day together, which I'm very pleased about it's on next Monday. So you won't see that until the following week, but we've got a nice, otherwise, apart from tomorrow night, a really relaxing weekend. We've got a really busy one next weekend. We've got all my family coming up for the coronation weekend. So I'm quite pleased that we're gonna have a relaxing, hopefully weekend this weekend. Anyway, I'm gonna go and do some work, tidy up all of this and finish off this Prosecco it's a bit early for this but I need to finish it off the bubbles won't last that's what I'm thinking um that someone was driving and I poured too many that's why I've got a random one left how lovely is this so I've just opened the post randomly I was thinking what is this um and this has been sent to me isn't this really lovely um what beautiful print so it's from Tamar so I've worked with them in the past and they didn't even say any of this was coming I love it when people do handwritten notes too. So they sent me this beautiful dress. So this is from their new collection. Oh, I like the tie on the, the arm. That's really sweet, isn't it? Like a little shirt dress, but with short sleeves. I love that. And then they've sent this as well. That's lovely. One of these, which I've always wanted to make ice cubes, like in the shape of a rose. How cool is that? And then these beautiful glasses. How nice are those? really pretty and some of these and the biscuitier how lovely are they it's really nice what a nice little gift to get uh, and when i wasn't even expecting anything from them how lovely thank you very much good morning i'm back out here Woof. What's going on, I hear you ask? 
yeah, it's Saturday morning and I am out about to do a Leanne workout, a 30 minute impact ride. I'm not sure I'm going to last 30 minutes, but I'm going to try. I am trying to do this now so then I don't do any exercise for the rest of the weekend. <laughs> get it done and out the way that is my motto um so i'm doing this today and then i've got a load of editing to do um really behind the kids have got loads of activities kids parties etc etc and then we're heading to the bluebell woods later so i'll take you with me uh and we're then going out for dinner which i'm rather excited about we're doing a date night which we really need we haven't had one for ages just the two of us so i'm very excited for that uh, for now, though, I'm going to get started on my 30 minute. Woo! Looks very dusty, isn't it? Keep touching that. Um, here we go. Oh, oh. So we've just made it to the Bluebell Wood. Sometimes there are bikes here that sort of go around and they're getting really annoyed when they stop taking photos. It doesn't look like there are any bikes today, which is great. There are a few dog walkers. Um, do you know what? I think some of these Bluebells might need to um come out a bit more do you think we're a bit early when yeah, I say? <gasps> we might have to come back it's not as time. no do you know what i mean yeah we were made last time now that's the we're too early we think they're still come yeah you're right look some of them oh, hello some of them are yeah they're really not out enough look at that that's definitely not out is it we need to come back here, I think. Yeah, look, they're not out. But the reason why I love it, look, it's got all, obviously it's for like bike tracks and stuff like that, but it's got these amazing sort of dips and um, places where you can run around. Yeah, what are we gonna do? It's not, we're too early. We are too early, which is really annoying. I think we have to come back. What day is next week's the bank holiday? I think you're I, a couple of weeks, you think? Yeah, we always do this, we're too early. I always get eager, I see those bluebells and think, do you know what, we need to get this done. So I've got some beautiful photos of the girls sitting on here when they were little in their clothes. We've been in Yorkshire about eight years now, maybe nine actually. And I think we've possibly been here every year since. And I've done videos here, done photo shoots here, and I absolutely love it. But I feel like we are way too early I'm still going to make them do photos though, Melissa. Mm, that's fine. <laughs> She's like, uh-oh. Um, over here, there's a quite a nice area. Do you remember we went here last year? Yeah, we went down. Yeah, poor yeah. Melissa's been with us for too long now that she has already done this photo shoot last year. So she's an expert. She knows exactly what to do and where she's going. They've all got some new coats on. So these are lighthouse coats. Raph's got a bright yellow one. Yeah. Uh, Tilly's got more of a raincoat and Phoebe has got like a more of a school blue coat isn't it is it nice and warm is it quite yeah. thick or not yeah is it oh it's yeah it's thicker than Tilly's it's nice so it's this brand here this is who I'm working with over on Instagram uh, I'll put a link to them below so you can go and find them but they've sent us all different coats and they've sent me one too I'll show you that yeah, yeah. So I, it's more of like a raincoat this, it comes in different colours. I quite like this blue and white lining, it's very soft inside. It's obviously got the zip and the poppers, which is always good. Let's take my, this is my camera bag, I've just got it on here. And then I've actually got one of their jumpers, which is really nice. It's got this lovely lining and I really like it because it's like a V and that is my thing, V neck, rather than jumpers without that. If they're too high up, they just don't work for me. They've got a hood, I just find it too bulky, but this is a really nice sweatshirt. It's got a lovely detail here in the cuffs as well. So I actually really like this. Can you see that? Sorry. Yeah. Yes, I know. Yeah. Okay. And then they've got the coats here. This, oh, I've still got the tag on it. That's not very good, is it? I've literally just put it on. It's called the Beach Coma Long Coat. And this is Biscuit. A waterable and breathable coat. So I'm working with them over my Instagram. So they've sent us all coats. I need to cut that out. Really. But I wanted to show you what it looked like on in the blue bow. In fact, I think this is going to be this is my favourite saying on here. It's going to be really useful. Have you heard me say that? No. 
can be really a really useful coat. coat. <laughs> and I think this will be a really useful coat. Because the weather in Yorkshire is not great. Right, let's get these photos done. They're over there. We, we lost them for a bit, we, but we can see them now because Rafferty has such a bright coat on. It's like a really bright yellow. It's like a lemon yellow, isn't it? He used to have one when he was little. In fact, they all did and just got handed down to all of them uh, from Mama Jojo B Baby, or I think that's what you call it. I don't yeah. know. What, yeah. Mama Jojo Bebe. Bebe, yeah. Bebe. And uh, it was kind of slightly different yellow, but they all had it and you could spot them from a mile off. So when they were like, which coats would you like? And I said, um, definitely a yellow one because I miss not being able to spot my children from far. Right, come on, come back now. Oh, I've lost one. There she is, gosh. My troublemaker, third, middle, sorry, middle child. Here she is, she's just so naughty. Anyway, so we are gonna try and do some photos here with the bluebells that aren't out. This is great, isn't it? Come on then, come round please, come round, come up. Let's go up and round. We are about to go now. We've done a few photos. Um, this looks lovely. Yeah, I think we just need a few more, maybe another week or two. Look, they're nearly there. You can just see them. But this whole woods will just be a carpet of purple when they finally do come out. So we'll be back here to our secret woods. I'm really pleased. I have this friend that told me about this and not many people know that it's here, but it's just stunning. If you are local to me and you do want to know where the blue ballet wood is, then do send me a message and I might be kind and let you know. Are you coming guys? Good evening, I'm back um, and I've just got changed into this. I really wasn't sure about it. Shall I show you up the front, the print? It's really lovely. So this is phase eight. I have got a vest top underneath because it is quite revealing underneath here. Can you see that? But what I could do if I have more time is probably stitch it closed or use a little safety pin perhaps. But because I've got the vest there, I think I'll be all right because it kind of covers over. But I love the little sleeve detail covering the tops of my arms, which is great. It then looks a bit like a cord because it's got this kind of fluffy, fluffy? Um, what's the word? Ruffly rim around the edge here. So you could tie the belt to the side or tie the belt to the back. So it kind of looks like a cord or and then a long kind of skirt. Um, I don't really suit jumpsuits because I'm so short. I find it really hard, the proportions of it. Um, and so I tend to avoid them, but I really do like this one. It's blue with this kind of speckle of color. So I've put on some, these are Bowden heels. I've had these for quite a while they're really comfy they're not too high and um, they're just really nice to wear so I just love them because they're quite comfortable um so I'm gonna be wearing this I feel like I'm gonna have to put maybe like a blazer with it and breathe in quite a bit but it's a really lovely jumpsuit they have this print in a dress too so I think that would be really nice if you're looking for something a little bit different it's a really lovely print I'm really pleased with that anyway I just wanted to show you before we leave. So we're heading out now. We're going to the Vices, um, to the restaurant there. We're gonna have some pre-dinner drinks first, and then I think we might do the wine flight. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to do some videos of them talking about the wine uh, for each course. I think it's about eight courses, I'm not sure. Um, and obviously the menu changes all the time because it's very seasonal there. And I don't think they repeat the same thing much. Um, so it'll be really interesting to see what kind of thing they're cooking. We haven't really got any dietary requirements, basically everything, because we love food. Uh, but I'm very excited. I just thought I should turn it around so you can actually see. There we go. Um, so I love this. Really, really nice. It's just, it just feels lovely. I'm really pleased with it. Phase eight, uh, I've got some really lovely things in it at the moment. And I think they're opening up a new store up here. So I'm quite excited. I've worked with them quite a bit over on my Instagram, um, but I love going in and actually trying on the clothes. I love this print. It's beautiful, isn't it? So this is what I'm going to be wearing um, with my heels. And then I'm just going to go and find my blazer to put on with it. I've got a little bag as well to take with me. I think I'll take my Fairfax and Favour one. 
and I will of course video the whole experience tonight. We've got a really lovely easy day tomorrow. Um, there's no rugby and we're going to have a barbecue, our first barbecue. We've just bought a new barbecue too, so that's exciting. And um, Rafferty's got a party, so we're heading out to that. And then we've just got a chilled bank holiday, which is really, really lovely. We never have chilled time, so I'm really pleased with that. I just put it up on the shelf. Um, so anyway, I better go because we're already late as usual. My husband's standing waiting and looking at me. So bye bye. So we've arrived. We've just parked and we're walking down. Um, it's kind of like a residential area, so it's a bit uh, bizarre. It's here. I think it used to be an old like fire station or something like that. Anyway, I will show you as we walk in. So it is in here. I think you have to go in that front door around here. Although. I don't really know. It's really like you don't realise it's actually here. Oh, it doesn't even look like anyone's here. Yeah. So we've just ordered, well, sorry, correction, I've just ordered a cocktail. James is very kindly driving. Um, so this is, what is it, number seven is what I've picked. I'm not sure what it's going to taste like, but I'm going to try it. It's kind of like a pinky colour. Looks a bit like cake. Should we say that? Let's try it, shall we? Black. Is it black? Is it berry? Um, mm. Oh, it's lovely. It's quite. Mm. I could drink quite a lot of that, I think. It's really nice. It's very lovely. So the decor is very Italian, I think, with all the kind of archways going on and the colour blocking. <laughs> You're, you're ruining my archway story. Great. Um, it's, yeah, it's really Italian going through. So we're just having a pre-dinner drink, so we're in our own room, which is actually quite nice in here. And then we move through to, we're, at, we're in the wine cellar room, I think. We're gonna have our drinks. Side to side to tell my trouble come alive. I can't wait the sun is shining, leave the sails and follow my own tide. Yeah. And there's a screaming in there, not telling me. So, <laughs> this dish was created by the chef um, and has been de dedicated to Daniela Garcinelli because of his love of wine, in particular sparkling traditional method wine, which is made by the same method of champagne, but as I'm sure you'll know, we can't call it champagne unless it's been made there and they've now complemented uh, champenoise. So, if it's made anywhere else, it's classical method. So, this dish aims to represent just a little bit of the production of the wine. So, firstly, we have the grapes as they are harvested. Please don't judge my harvesting. Harvesting too much. <laughs> and then you've got the grapes in the ramekin, and I'd suggest you try one of those now. So those ones have a slight fizz to them to represent the alcoholic fermentation of the wine. So with um, classical method wine, when it's set to rest in the bottle, they add yeast and sugars. The yeast, as it re-ferments, creates the bubbles and makes the wine sparkling. Um, this wine stays on the leaves for 30 months. The longer that it stays in the bottle, mm. the more complex the wine is. So you get some champagnes that you are resting for 150 months. When it becomes time to remove the yeast, there's some deposit in the bottom. So they turn it upside down and then they freeze the neck, which freezes the yeast deposit in a plug of ice with a little bit of wine as well. Then by this, a process called discardment, they take the cork out, which takes the yeast and some of the wine with it, and then they refill the bottle with back vintages of the same wine. 
and a little bit of sugar. And so usually when you buy wine, it might say Padouze or Brut or Extra Brut, and that denotes how much residual sugar is left inside the bottle. So the chef wanted to show a little bit of that by this dish. So here we have a sorbet made with grapes and classical method wine. We have uh, dry yeast to represent the fermentation and then fermented cherry powder to represent the second fermentation of the wine. So each bottle of classical method wine or champagne has been opened twice. Good morning. I just made the really stupid mistake of sorting out my makeup, but I roped in Phoebe and she's managed to bag herself a load of bits over there, which she's very excited about. My study is just an absolute tip, so I thought I'd make an attempt sorting out the makeup first and then moving on to sorting everything else out, which I think I might have to do tomorrow now. I'm off out to a children's party on a Sunday. Who does a party on a Sunday? Oh, so I don't want to go. Anyway, so I'm just getting ready for that and then I will be coming back for hopefully a barbecue, our first barbecue of the year. cheeky slice before I start being good tomorrow. Got my glass of Prosecco. Life is good. We just had the fire lit so we've been sitting over there. It's been so nice. So we planned on having a barbecue outside. Of course it rained so that didn't really happen. Um, but hopefully next week for the bank holiday we'll be able to get out there and use the new barbecue. So we just had um, sausages and burgers and you know the works but inside. Anyway, I'm going to sign off for today. So I will see you all next week. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Button, Sorry if you liked it, this video. Hopefully you did. And I will be back next week. I've got a really busy, exciting week, guys. So I can't wait to fill you in on what I'm up to. Bye.